Now it's recording. I want to kill myself. So I want to kill myself so bad. It's hot as fuck in my room too. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. This is Fashion Elitist, aka JQ. And you came here for, uh, how do you how do you wash your designer clothes? Because we're all stinky. We all mess up our clothes. And I mean, most importantly, we spend thousands of dollars on clothing that we don't want to get damaged, right? Give me one second, it's really hot in my room. Yep. That feels great. Okay, the first thing is why should you actually listen to me? I actually have a PhD in textile washing and I'm also a three-time Olympic winner of the textile washing Olympics. Now, the question that we get a lot is how do we actually wash our clothes and our designer clothes because we actually care about them and we want them to be in the utmost best of care, right? Our main tip is never wash your clothes. Close, close, close. That pretty much ends the video. You just never want to wash your clothes. Now, you might be a little confused on why I'm saying you shouldn't wash your clothes. The main reason is every time you wash your clothes, you actually damage them. You run the risk of it shrinking. You run the risk of you damaging the clothing. You run the risk of uh, something getting snagged and it ripping. You also run the risk of fading the color. Now, there's a lot of reasons why you don't necessarily need to wash your clothes all the time. Like for example, pants. You don't really need to wash them unless they get a stain on them. You just stain remove it. Now, if you really stink, um, I can't really help you with that. I I could make a video on hygienics or hygiene, become the metrosexual that you'd like to be. You know, I'm teaching people how to be metrosexuals. I think that's the best thing. The really main point I'm trying to state is during the winter, it gets cold. We don't really sweat in our clothes, not like how I'm sweating in my apartment right now, but you don't necessarily need to wash them all the time because the least amount of times you wash your clothes, the longer they will last, the longer they will live and they won't die out. We are here to keep these items, these high-end items longer in our wardrobes and we just don't want to damage them because of resale value. Now, you really only want to wash your clothes when you sweat through them. You sweat so much like your dad when he sweats through that gray shirt that he wears during the summer and he has all that sweat all over it. Yes, of course, you should wash it all the time if you smell or you sweat through your clothing. Those are the two only times that you necessarily need to wash your clothes. But for the most part, if you don't sweat and you don't smell, then you don't need to wash your clothes. I know it's a weird social construct that we've developed in our society today where they're telling you you need to wash your clothes after everywhere, maybe for your briefs and socks, but for your shirts and pants, not necessarily because you didn't really do anything that made them gross, right? The philosophy that I run by is if I sweat through it, then I wash it. If I don't, then I don't. Now I could have a, I could have a brisk sweat. I could be slightly beating down my, my face, you know, slight. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's time to wash my shirt. Only if it, it has a musk to it or it smells, then I will need to wash it. I mean, you can even ask my clothes if they smell. Do you smell? Hold up, ain't you Nathaniel B? Great answer. Now, the thing is, you might be saying, well, what about stains? Do you not like, do you not wash your stains? Yes, I only spot clean them. There's a lot of amazing tools that you can use, like the spot cleaners from Tide and other things where you could just rub the stain remover thing on your shirt and then you're good. Or you could just spot clean it when you get home, um, just get a bit of detergent, wet that area and then spot clean it. There's no need to wash the whole garment because you run the risk of, you know, all those other things that I've listed. And uh, it's just kind of a waste just in general, just a waste of water. Now we have a second language that we have to decipher on the care tag and you can see this language decipher of this language that is on the, its own care tag because it is really its own language. Not even I could decipher everything. You really need to look into what these things state and what they're saying to you because you, the person that's washing the clothes, you want to make sure you don't actually damage the clothes and or maybe put it in something that it doesn't like and it won't look good. The thing is, you can pay somebody. You can take it to a dry cleaner and have them wash it. And even some things even state that you need to actually go to the dry cleaner and get them off. But the thing is, I don't trust dry cleaners, I don't trust people, and it requires money and time and a lot of inconvenience, for, to be honest. Now, if you have the time to do that, then go do that, but do you really trust that person that's holding your Yoji Porum shirt hostage? I really wouldn't, because it requires money, time, and trust. Do you really trust the person you're paying? And at the end of the day, if they damage your clothes, what are you gonna do? You're gonna sue them? Are you gonna yell at them? No, you're gonna murder them? I mean, I, I don't know you, you don't know me. Who knows? It's <laughs>
It's hot in my room. It's crazy how hot it is. Dry cleaning is a huge obvious. Of course, you can just dry clean it and then you'll be good to go. It's not really that big of a deal, but again, it's just a very huge issue. I don't necessarily trust anyone like I've mentioned. And it's just kind of a struggle too. Now you can always listen to what society has told you. It is a social construct to wash your clothes in a washing machine. You can always listen to them. Yes, you can use a washing machine, but you don't necessarily need to. But if you really do and you just don't want to, you know, do that, all you really need to do is dump your clothes in it, of course, put your favorite detergent in, and then uh, put Gentle Cycle in cold water. I don't recommend using any hot water because it runs the color. It could also shrink your clothes. It's just not the best. Cold water is always the best and just put it on delicate. But I heavily recommend not using the drying machine. The drying machine sucks. You put it in there, you're just asking for your clothes to get damaged and they just will come out looking terrible raunchy my thing is and come a little closer when you put your stuff in the drying machine it's a very not loving process and what ends up happening is in that tumbling it actually damages the clothes and sometimes it can rip your shirts and sometimes it can uh, damage the actual fibers and the woven fabric and just causing a lot of things that won't really keep it in the terms of longevity and that's what we want we want to keep our clothes as long as possible so i wouldn't really recommend putting anything in the drying machine that you don't really care about so let's say you take my advice and you don't use a dryer. You just need to air dry in a cool place that is away from the sun because the sun does also damage your clothes. It actually can fade them and you really don't want them to be faded, do you? So all you really got to do is just hang dry them, let them cool for a day. You won't have that piece unlocked yet just for a day. So it'll sit for like 24 hours and then it'll be dry and then you'll be good. You'll be able to wear it again. So you'll finally unlock that unplayable character and wear them again and you'll be happy. Well, take it from me, I, the president of the Textile Washing Machine Club. Hand washing your best bet. It's really the best thing you could possibly do if you really care and love for that clothing because you have more control over it. I mean, we barely have any control of our lives. So at least let's let us have this one thing that we can actually control, which is our clothing and how we wash it. It's a very simple process. It's very easy and you could get uh, a decent amount of your stuff washed. Now, the thing is, if you don't take any of my words of advice to heart or you don't want to listen to me, then let's go get a second opinion. It's very subjective uh, from different person to person. Everyone washes their clothes differently. If you wash your clothes differently than I do, leave them down below in the comment section. I'd love to like to see how you wash your clothes, what tricks you do, any tips you have. But anyway, so let's see what the people have to say. And then we'll come back, we'll regroup, and I'll show you how to actually hand wash in the next part. And then we'll just call it a day, right? Hi, I'm Bailey Andrews uh, on all social media platforms. Um, honestly, I treat my clothes pretty badly. I usually will just like throw them washer based on color and then I'll hang dry anything that needs to be hang dry. There's like a lot of clothes I don't wash. I smell good though. Don't worry. The trick real quick. I don't. Other than like if it's really dirty, like smelly or stained, then obviously I'll wash it. Just cold wash, air dry for 10 minutes. And then after that like that's it. I mean to be honest, like other things like I'll, I'll get like my my wool I'll get it dry cleaned. I'll get like dress pants, dress shirts dry cleaned because it's expensive and I don't want to mess it up. Designer stuff, but vintage stuff, I don't care. If it, if it gets ruined, it gets ruined. Like it's been around for so long, it's made it this far. Like it should keep surviving even if I wash it in like extreme heat. I've just learned not to wash stuff with red items because it always changes my clothes to pink. Hey! Uh, he's, he's, he's drunk right now. He's got the headphones on. I'm, I'm calling. Um, how do I wash my clothes? Well, I don't know. I feel like people are like getting into fashion, especially. It's like one of those things where it's like, oh man, like, what do I do? Wash my clothes or whatever. Like, a lot of the stuff you can just like cold water wash, hang dry. I feel like you don't have to go like too crazy with, yeah, you know, it's at the end of the day, like dry cleaning is like, you know, a lot. Of, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of money if you're someone living in New York, maybe on a budget, whatever. Like, read the, read the care label. If it says like, you know, you're able to hand wash it, do it. Like, I feel like you'll save so much money doing that. You know I mean? Don't listen to me though. What do I know? <laughs> uh, I'm Hazel. I feel the same as Colin because um, it's so much cheaper than just, yeah, no money. I just put, cold I, water yeah, wash, hang dry. Right, that's even, right, I rec yeah. recommend that to that's a lot of people too, like even at the store. And it's like, wash separate by color. Yeah, by, by color. <laughs> well, like you're not going to yeah. do like a fucking like tie-dye shirt with a, <laughs> yeah. you know, your white dress white. or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. I wash my clothes in the bathtub and then like some of them in the washer. Um, I don't. I just don't wash them very often. <laughs> Wool light dark, gentle cycle. You don't hand wash your clothes? 
Uh, dry cleaner, dry cleaner if it's necessary. Hey, I'm Gavin. How do I buy? I throw it all into the thing, the laundromat. I, my designer clothing is, You're more is, is limited. Yeah, I, all of it just goes in. In the yeah. dryer, in the hand, like you just wash. I don't have the patience for hand for washing. anything more than that. Yeah. <laughs> so here I got all my clothes, and usually what I'll do is I'll flip them inside out because. Uh, it just preserves the color, especially if there's graphics, you want to flip them inside out. Make sure you do this with every shirt. You, here we have the sink. Take this out. Make sure the sink's clean, obviously. And then we're just going to plug, plug that up and fill it up with some cold water. Now the one thing that I like to do is when it's filling up, I'll put some Tide in there. And I put a very small amount, so I'm only doing a small load, so I'm only going to put like a very little amount. Probably a little bit less than that, like maybe a little bit like that. I'll just dump some of this in here. I'll just kind of swirl the water around a little bit so that the detergent gets kind of everywhere. Then we start throwing our stuff in the sink. So we just pretty much fill it up to the top to a decent amount of water so that it's at least covering everything. What I'll do every like 15 minutes is I'll swirl it around just, just to get all the detergent everywhere. And then from there, you just kind of empty the water out, wring your clothes out, and then hang them in the restroom. But hopefully if you have a pole, and just let them hang dry there, and it'll be good for the next day. That's pretty much all you got to do. Okay, so this part of the video got corrupted, um, just like a lot of my videos, so I had to redo it. But this is the part where I showed what I needed to wash, and I already washed the clothes, so they don't... They didn't look dirty when I, when I showed, but let me show you the clothes that I had to wash. So I'd wash this, 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 and last but not least, this. So yeah, I had a lot of clothes to wash. So let's continue on with the video. But that's all I really got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed it other people's responses. Leave some comments down below of like some tips and tricks that you may have that I didn't reference and maybe that I could probably use in my own methods of cleaning my own clothes. I definitely would appreciate it. I know there's like a ratio of like detergent and stuff to use, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy my personality because it's very dry and not that many people like it, but I like myself, I'd like to think. No, I don't. Anyway, have a great day. See you in the next one.